Okay, this is part four now, if I remember correctly. Uh, we're now in our extreme still, but we started, we've opened up another page, and I've called this uh, this one index um, dot czar. Uh, you got that through doing a buy on you 640 pix web page VGA. That was the um, template I chose for that, but it can, you, you can you can change that to any size you want. Right. Um, just bear with me a minute. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I've got on this this page, I've just got a two-page um, website. Um, just move it down. Um, they don't no, need need to be that um, long, but just the, there's the two pages. Um, one's index HTM. One's products HTM. If I click on this one, um, pull up the page property this one's called index I've named this one index uh, I think that automatically um, called index although you can change it if you want and the second one if we check on there go to page and that's called products uh, and you can call that um, you can name that whatever you want and when Zara exports it it will export it with that name dot htm so you could call it uh, my second page dot htm that will be called my second page dot htm so anyway that's that bit so we've got those two pages set up um, then I've set up this square in here um, which is 470 pixels by 30 pixels which if you remember uh, was the size of the flash animation for the nav bar that we'd uh, created in the last three tutorials um, and if we look at the it's a placeholder this time we're using a placeholder and in exported website replace this replace with flash navbar swoof right um, you, you can click on that browse and you go to the folder that you're using and that's that navbar swoof you know, so that's that's why I've clicked um, you can't see it down here and it's annoying but whenever you do anything in in um, Zara Extreme or Web Designer you have to keep clicking remembering to kick this apply but click the apply button and um, I wish we they could find a way around it because the number of times you forget to click the apply button you think you've actually made something work and it doesn't but you go you click apply shut that window um, and I've repeated that in this case I've just just put it down and copied it right on um, I've also because we don't know where you're going to be um, and there's no indication you can actually put in the Swift file what page you're on I put these little bars underneath on that index page and on the products page there and that's where it is I've also added products HTML HTM there and index HTM so it shows us where we are um, if I then go to preview um, the site there's the swift file comes into there and uh, it says index HTML which is the page we're on um, if we click over it that goes like that if you go over that click on it and have to click on it if you click on it sorry about this but it should work um, just let me shut that down pause it a minute Yeah, I apologise for that. Um, during the making of the um, tutorial, um, what's actually happened is I've messed something up. Um, it's quite easy enough done, and um, it, the actual preview isn't working. But I have put it actually up on a site, and there it is. Um, you can touch on that products. It goes to products HTM, goes back to about us, and at the same time, underneath the little bar shows where you are. You could make that a bit sexier if you want. Anyway, I hope that helps a few people. Um, thanks all the same. Thanks for listening. Good night.